Hey, welcome to this episode of Fresh Word. Last week, we answered the call of, uh, you know, for a believer. What, what is it like? What happens in the life of a believer? You know, what should we be looking for kind of thing? This week, it's a call of ministry upon your life. And so I, I want to begin by saying this. Number one, be specific in your calling or, or at least acknowledge what Christ wants out of you in your call. Uh, for some are called to be pastors, teachers. Some are, you know, called to come alongside, be support people, and it really doesn't matter. Now, I want to I want to talk about that in two areas. Number one, your calling uh, in in the ministry, and that's that's what I want to specify: the calling in the ministry. The other ones, you might be called to be, uh, you know, a, uh, an attorney or a doctor or whatever. God, that's what God's placed on your heart. But I, I want to um, just hone into the ministry itself. So wherever you're called to, whatever God has for you, being part of the body of Christ, to be a pastor, listen to that calling and listen to what God is speaking to your heart about. And, and if it's support personnel, whatever it might be, that's what you want to live into because that's where you're going you're gonna to find your fulfillment in doing what God has asked of you as he's building the body of Christ. You know, he has some that are fingers, some toes that are some, you know, eyeballs, some... Uh, years and uh you know we have different parts of the body so we want to fulfill that calling so that paul the apostle said in ephesians chapter 4 verse 16 that as every part does its share man it causes growth to the body it's a wonderful thing so um, be specific specify lord what is it and it doesn't mean i can't serve uh you know like uh i remember i, I was always called to be a pastor when i got saved i knew i was called to pastor a church but then, um, you know, I, I didn't want to just sit there and wait for it. What I wanted to do was wait as a waiter would and go out and serve in other areas until God called me. And, he, you know, he's speci uh, was specific on, hey, now is the time. So remember, God's word and God's timing is always worth going to bring forth good fruit. But if it's your word and God's timer, my timing, God's word, if I rush the Lord, we'll, we'll come out with some Ishmael's. And we don't want to do that. So be specific on your calling. We need pastors, teachers. I think it's a wonderful thing, but really be specific. And then, too, is the distractions, some of the things that might distract us from the call. Now, there have been people that felt they had this call from the Lord, but so many things will come in the way. You know, they'll, they'll allow the career, so they'll allow things to hide behind. Like Kind of like Moses. Moses made excuses, right? He's like, I can't talk. You know, and God said, hey, I'm going to give your brother, you just go. But the distractions that are out there. Listen, when we're called to the ministry, that's what we should be honing into. Now, again, it doesn't mean that's all I do. I just, all, all I teach is Sunday morning. All I teach is a Bible Sunday, Wednesday night, and I don't do anything else. That's not it. But, but there's distractions. There's things that come up that draw us out of the way of answering God's call to be the fullness that we're to follow him. You know, whether it's worship leaders or pastors or whatever it might be, that that is my calling and I'm gonna answer that unto the Lord and, and honor him in that. So the distraction might keep us from, well, what about my life or my time or this or that or the other thing. And I think when we start thinking like that, we've got to regroup and think of, wait, what am I called to? You know, what am I called to? And there's been plenty of times to where the Lord has given me the time to, you know, have that rest, have that getaway. I love to get away and travel with my wife and maybe go on vacation or whatever the case may be. But I, I love to know that I'm fulfilling God's call and God has always given me the time off that I've needed. So, you know, we're, we're watch out for the distractions to cloud the calling that God has in your life. And then I just want to encourage you to answer the call. Okay, don't look at your circumstances or don't look at your giftings. You know, if God has called you, then he will equip you. As Hebrews tells us, he equips the called. And he's going to equip you for that, you know, so that which he's called you to. So it's like, okay, Lord, I don't know how I'm going to get this done. I don't have the, you know, the, no, the, the, I don't know what to do with what I'm supposed to do, you know, kind of thing. I don't have the education. I don't have the finances. I don't have anything. Well, that's, in my opinion, that's really God's to provide those things. The education as we study his word, 
I mean, what else do you need? You got the greatest commentary right here in the Bible. It's uh, the Bible. So you study the Word of God and then you teach the Word of God. It's that simple. But it's also asking God, okay, Lord, I want to put you first. I want you to be everything in my life. And I want you to, you know, uh, I want to answer that call. And just remember everything else. Remember the fishermen, the disciples, they, they dropped everything at the seashore in a sense, and they left their boats behind and they followed the Lord. Elijah did the same thing when uh, God called him. You know, it's like the, there's the plow, there's a thing right behind me and everything that God has called me away from because now I'm gonna follow the Lord. And so that's not saying that we can't ever fish or we can't ever have a garden or whatever the case may be, but we wanna make sure that we're answering the call and leaving the distractions behind. So uh, keep seeking the Lord and answer that call. And I wanna encourage you to pray that you might answer that call and seek the elders of your church. Uh, Heavenly hands on you and pray for you that you would answer the call of God in your life, whatever that might be. God bless you. Hey guys, Pastor Al here, Calvary Chapel with Fresh Word. You know, oftentimes we have a question to ask, but we don't know where to go, what to do. Would I be a fool for asking it, whatever. I wanna encourage you in the comments below, write your question and we will get you an answer, Lord willing. God bless you guys.